I'm David Hewitt and I'm the Head of Retail and Merchandise here at Wimbledon. Wimbledon has been around for 150 years. We know exactly what kind of thing we are proposing every year, which is a world-class sports event. For many years, the Wimbledon retail business was based to every other event or sports event. But for Wimbledon, we have been trying for some years now to keep pushing borders and saying, what kind of things can we do ourselves? The Wimbledon retail offering is not like a traditional retail offering or operation. When producing our product, uh, we look to the wider Wimbledon operation and actually to the ground staff. If they keep the grass at eight millimetres long and that precision, that quality, then uh, we wanted to do that when producing our product. The task that we have here is to try to create something as unique and special as all of the other assets and beauty and delights that Wimbledon offers. Where can we take ourselves into the customers and the guests that love this brand, that love this tournament? And of course, online retail was the answer for us. The aim of Wimbledon.com is, is actually to provide the, the best experience of being at Wimbledon without being at Wimbledon. We partnered with Vimo to do that and to bring the online store in line with the brand and provide that familiar shopping experience. My name is Erica. I work as a business unit manager at Vimo UK. So we started working with Wimbledon back in 2019. Um, they approached us and was interested in taking over um, their online store. They had a third party that was managing this store and they wanted uh, to take over their responsibility in-house. We were excited about our new model, but then it raised some more questions, which was where are the companies, the agencies, the firms, the partners? Which ones would understand the story? which ones would be able to just pause and listen to us explain that we have an amazing thing that happens once a year that the whole world is aware of. When we met Vimo, we realised we'd found a partner that understood that beautifully and it's worked in our favour and hopefully theirs ever since. We started working together with Wimbledon back in 2019 and it was really interesting to get to know Wimbledon, uh, their love for tennis, uh, the championship. We tend to start every new uh, project implementation with a discovery in order to understand the customer, their requirements and also to discuss the solution, the best solution uh, for that customer. When we go into discovery, we start with a small team that is usually comprised of a project manager, a solution architect, UX designer and a consultant. That team are tasked with finding the requirements and creating the, the kind of purpose and objectives for the project. From the very first meeting that we, we had with Vimo, uh, it was clear to us that, that they saw this as a partnership opportunity, which is super important. It's about long-term growth and it's about working together to, to ensure success. It wasn't just another website rollout and you could tell that from the very first meeting that we had. From the very start we wanted to, to make sure that the digital experience was in keeping with the Wimbledon brand that looks to quality at all points. While doing uh, the discovery we actually decided to do a small uh, proof of concept and this is order to kind of uh, align it that we had understood uh, Wimbledon's requirements correctly and also to make sure to prove uh, that the suggested solution was actually going to work and, and it did so it was very successful and it was a great way to test um, that we were on the right path. The vision and goals that we set out with, with Wimbledon were really centred around the customer experience, the world-class kind of respect and heritage that comes with the brand um, and to, to kind of uphold the integrity that we, we see with the championships on the website itself. Vimo clearly understood what the nuances of working with Wimbledon. It's not a traditional retail brand, but they, it was clear that they were going to embrace those. The aim of, of bringing the project in-house, the online store in-house, was to provide a, a, a digital experience that was in keeping with the rest of the Wimbledon brand. And that serves to, to, to quality, and the, the experience online should be the same as the quality product that is being delivered. The Wimbledon retail offering is not like a traditional retail offering or operation. 
We see peaks at different times, obviously during the tournament, uh, but also other grand slams and other sporting events, there's, there's interest as well. And so this, this doesn't necessarily fit with a traditional retail calendar where, where others might see those uplifts. That kind of led us into needing to develop and build out the roadmap. What we did is we started running a couple of sessions remotely, um, so from our offices and uh, connecting to all of them in their homes and in their offices when they were able to make it in. Um, and we started by setting out what the vision was. So what was the vision for the site? Why does the website exist? What is the purpose of having that site and why should people come to it? The championships is very much like our Black Friday for other retailers. Um, the peak that we have there is, is enormous. Uh, we see roughly a 4,000% increase in, in traffic across the two weeks or, or perhaps the four weeks, the week before and the week after the championships as well. And, and obviously this is a challenge that, that, that we have to meet and, and is, is, is unique to us at, at that time of year. The roadmap tends to centre around the championships. If you think about a traditional retail business, we normally put all of our eggs into the Black Friday basket or that sort of seasonal period. For them, this happens in June, July. So it's a, it's a really interesting, kind of flips everything on its head, but what we do is we prepare in the exact same way. So the roadmap effectively builds up to preparing for the championships. We do the similar preparations, I would say. We, we do a load test to make sure that the site can handle the expected load and performs well. And we also have a, a couple of different checklists that we run through in order to make sure that everything is going to work well. It, it really did work well, so we're, we're really pleased with the result. One of the key things was really looking at how, how they can access and read and leverage their own data. So even just you know simple things like showing showing them how Google Analytics works, helping them to get it set up, making sure they have visibility of the right reports, that they know how to read them and how to use them. I remember that being quite a, a big focus at the point of go live, and they could get a feel for all of this new exciting data that we'd never had before, and now we suddenly have access to so much of it. We launched Wimbledon's new online store uh, back in 2020. Unfortunately, as you might know, the championships didn't go ahead that year. So we never got to fully test the site and, and the, during the peak performance. Luckily, in 2021, um, the championships went ahead and we got to see the site perform um, during uh, the peak kind of time of the championships, which was really exciting and it all went really well. Leading up to the championships, we need to conduct stringent load, load tests on the site. We will send sort of virtual users to the site to see at what point the site starts to take strain and maybe take a few more seconds for a certain page to load. We then know at that point that's where we need to put more resources uh, in place so that we can make sure that the customers don't have a, a slow and frustrating experience. From the very start, we wanted to build that customer experience and and make sure that the end-to-end -end, uh, offering that, that, we, that we gave the customer was, was in keeping with the Wimbledon brand. And to, to kind of uphold the integrity that we, we see with the championships on the website itself. That started with when the, uh, when the customer landed on the website and the visuals that they saw, uh, to when they viewed a product, knowing that um, and understanding what the product was, making sure the photography w was on point and they could see the details within the apparel especially. And then they could add it to their basket easily. They could purchase easily with familiar pay payment methods. And then uh, right at the end, making sure that when they received their product, it turned up in, in a Wimbledon way. So very focused on customer experience, very focused on making sure it was a seamless journey and, and very focused on making sure that we have good, clean data within the business that, uh, that the retail team can also use to, to understand their customers better and to, to ultimately help them uh, meet their business objectives. We have some really big ambitions for, for the new online store moving forwards, but, but our efforts at the moment it really is about doubling down on the early successes that we've had, and, and, and that is with the customer journey and the customer experience. Since the Go Live reworked the roadmap, so we've got a, a much narrower vision for, for the next year at least, I would say the key projects that we're focused on are building a, a seamless experience for our international customers. It's not just domestic traffic that we're looking at, it really is an international audience. With, with Wimbledon touching millions and millions of people across the globe. And whilst we, we do ship internationally and we do accept international card payments, we, um, 
we have yet to improve the experience for somebody coming from you know, anywhere in Asia or in the US or anywhere else in Europe. So with that international audience, we want to cater for everybody and, and providing um, the digital experience that is as close to shopping at Wimbledon as, as possible. So as a conclusion, when building the site, we always wanted to do things properly and in a Wimbledon way. We've had some very early successes and they're super encouraging and we see it as the real growth opportunity for us for the retail operation here at Wimbledon. We'd like to think that we will be eventually looking at our customers and they'll be shopping online for things to bring and wear at Wimbledon. And if they're not coming to Wimbledon, shopping online for things to wear and watch Wimbledon. And if they're not watching, then shopping online year round to find the stories that make up the experiential and the customer guest experience of being at Wimbledon.